We now have a vector version of the castle symbol. We don't need the other elements. So with my selection tool active, I'm going to click and hold down the mouse and just drag across those to select them and then hit the delete on the backspace key in the keyboard to remove them. Click on the shape that we do need, which we're left with, because this is going to be turned into a symbol to be used on a map. We need to change the fill color and I'll click in the fill color chip in there, change it to black and then hit return. Let's just take an edit and a copy of this. And then once you've copied it, let's just jump back to the, the artboard menu and go back to the previous artboard in here. And then you can go to edit and then choose paste. In the width and height up here, make sure that the link is turned on. And then the width of this needs to be swiped across there. Type in eight for eight millimeters and press return. And then I'm going to zoom into that region with my zoom tool so we can see it a bit clearer. So we're ultimately going to use this, um, this image of the castle as um, a way on this map to denote a historical site. There's going to be a couple of these. And in fact, a map may well use the same type of symbol several times. If you need to change that icon, then you may have five or six or maybe 10 or 11 instances of that artwork used. And that would be really tedious to have to keep editing it several times wherever it's used. Ideally, we would just have one piece of artwork. And if we use it several times, they are all linked together. And that is the premise of Illustrator's symbolism tools. So I'll go to the window menu and then head down to the symbols panel. And then just drag this closer to our artwork. Now you can create a symbol in a multitude of ways, but um, the easiest way is to click on the new symbol icon at the bottom of the symbols panel. This opens up the symbol options. And from here, then you can give it a name and I'll call this castle. Now in this workflow, the only option lower down that we really need to be concerned with is the symbol type. Export type is really a redundant feature and that was for exporting to uh, Adobe Flash, which now no longer exists. But in terms of symbol type, then what we really need to do is leave this set to dynamic symbol. This will give us more flexibility to edit our symbol instances in the future. So pretty much in here, the uh, default options are good to go. And I'll go down to the bottom right hand side and click on OK to apply them. At which point you'll notice that our castle artwork has been added as a symbol in the symbols panel. And then the original artwork itself is also turned into a symbol denoted by, if you can spot it, the very small cross that's in the middle of the artwork. And that's how you create a symbol.